I have found a magic lamp. A genie popped out. And rather than wishing for a billion dollars, that would have been a really good one. I wished for one whiskey for the rest of my life. Uh, an unlimited supply of it, though. So I can quit hunting and I can quit, you know, enjoying time with my friends in line at, at you know, waiting for bottles. And I can, I can stop doing all these bottle reviews. Because uh, that's... This really was a bad wish. Um, let's go. Have your drinking buddy. <sighs> All right, drinking buddies. So I have been challenged by Doc from Old Fashioned Ways. If you haven't checked out his channel, it's really good. He does a lot of whiskey videos, but he also does some nice cocktail videos, making some cool cocktails, primarily revolving around the old fashioned which is a great cocktail. And uh, uh, you know, you could do an entire channel just based off old fashioned recipes because there's so many. Uh, but great channel, old fashioned ways. I'll leave a link in the description. Anyway, he challenged me. He said, a genie has came here and he has granted me the wish that I can have an unlimited supply of one whiskey, but that is the only whiskey I can drink for the rest of my life. It kind of puts a damper on this whole whiskey tube situation because if I can't drink any other whiskeys, uh, there's not really any point in you guys watching me drink the same whiskey every day. You guys would probably unsubscribe real quick if that was the case. So luckily this is only a fairy tale. And, uh, you know, it might work out if I had this wish. Because I think I could pick a better whiskey than I would drink on the regular. But the truth is, uh, you know, drinking something like... Drinking something like this occasionally makes something like this special. Drinking something like this occasionally makes this special. The variety we have in life shapes our experiences and makes us realize that something excellent is excellent and something low tier is low tier. Without those low tier, everything is low tier. If I can only have one whiskey, sure, it's the best whiskey in the world, but it's also the worst whiskey in the world. So. I kind of had to look at it from that angle, and I think there's a really good chance. If I can only have one whiskey, you come back 10 years from now, I might be a little sick of it. I might not even drink it, you know, regularly. I might be more interested in rum. I might be more interested in tequila. I might be a wine guy. Who knows? Chances are pretty good I wouldn't be because the whiskey I'm about to choose is phenomenal. But. I had a lot of deliberation to think about because the rules say I have to pick a whiskey that uh, was available at some point in time and was available in a lot of states, uh, which leads me to believe that I can choose Dusty's for this. And choosing like a Dusty Wild Turkey 101 is really tempting, or maybe like a Dusty Pappy 15 that's like, a, you know, a Stitzel Weller, something like that, an old school Pappy that's Stitzel Weller at, at a and I have an unlimited supply of that. Plus, am I allowed to sell these? Because if, if I'm allowed to sell them, that's my answer. Just kidding, I, I don't sell whiskey. Uh, but if I had an unlimited supply of Happy 15s from you know the early 80s, I, that might be my career, actually. Uh, anyway, where am I going with this? I can, I can only drink one whiskey for the rest of my life. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the best whiskey I have ever tasted in my life, and that's William Little Weller. This is the 2022 batch, and I think it's the best whiskey I've ever tasted in my life. Now, if it's not this, it's a different William Leroux Weller from a couple years ago. I've never had them batch back to back, so I can't really say which one is better, but my, my money is on this one being my favorite whiskey of all time. So 2022 William Leroux Weller, I have an unlimited supply of them. Why did I choose this bottle? Well, it is a barrel proof product, so if I'm in the mood for something high proof, it is sitting at 122 points at... It is sitting at 124.7 proof, which is perfect. I don't need that much more proof than that. I'm very happy there. Now, it also allows me to mix it into cocktails. I mean, that kind of seems ridiculous, but I could mix this into a cocktail if I had to. And then also, um, if I'm in the mood for something 90 proof, I can always take this whiskey and add a few drops of water to it. Uh, I probably won't do that, but for the purposes of this experiment, I can. I can choose to do that if I want to. I also might be able to even take this bottle and, uh, you know, do experiments with it. Maybe I'll make some infused William Lou Weller since I have an unlimited supply of them. Maybe I'll throw a barrel spiral in some of these bottles and see what they taste like when I've aged them for two weeks. So maybe I won't get sick of this whiskey because I'm going to big brain it and switch it up, change it up. 
What happens if I take 90% of a free bottle of William Rue Weller, because I have an unlimited supply, and I take 10% aged rum and throw that in there? Who knows? The sky's the limit. Anyway, drinking buddies, this is my whiskey because I think it's the best whiskey of all time. Check out Doc at Old Fashioned Ways. And then I believe he got the idea from the Bourbon Guys. So I will throw the Bourbon Guys uh, channel in the description as well. Let's check their channel out. And uh, you know, it's always fun when we can get the whiskey tube, the YouTube community engaged in this stuff because uh, you know, we're, we're fun, we're, we're a fun community. Um, and there's some really nice people out there. Um, while I'm in the subject, some channels you might wanna check out. If you've never seen Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans, uh, check out Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm going to go ahead and challenge him to do the same video. And uh, also, uh, SLB Drinks. I don't know if he was challenged in the first video or not, but Trent and Kurt, you need to get on this and do this video. And maybe we can get this out there in the YouTube community. Cheers, drinking buddies. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.